Hi everybody, um, this is Leah O'Neill. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am really excited to show you my December daily the first week. Um, I have officially made it further than I've ever made it in a December daily album before. It feels great. It's not a huge achievement getting through a for the one whole week, but for me it is, and that's what I'm trying to focus on. So here I have my vintage floral traveler's notebook from Simple Stories, and you can see I'm in trouble because it's already getting really chunky. Now, I have the, the December daily traveler's notebook in the front part, and then I've got one extra notebook in the back where I've been making all of my lists and doing most of my planning. Um, for, for the holiday season, I typically do all my planning in one notebook with lots and lots of lists because I just, that's how I survive these really stressful days. So this is from Hot Pink Fluff, lots of clips. Um, let's just get in. So something you're going to see, I normally would stick these down with some non-permanent uh, adhesive, double-sided adhesive tape. I just haven't done it yet to keep those in there. Um, this is the front. Um, this is All Simple Stories, the Very Merry Collection. Um, I absolutely love everything. So what I've done is I've created this traveler's notebook, like a custom one, and I pulled apart a regular traveler's notebook and inserted in a bunch of scrapbooking papers from the Very Merry Collection. I cut them down to size and made a notebook out of them. Now, the problem is, at some point, I have to rebind this notebook and I thought about staples are probably not going to work for something so thick and my sewing machine's definitely not going to sew through there. So what I'm looking at, I'm probably going to end up having to bind this like a book bind, um, but that's okay because I'm kind of loving how chunky it's getting. So I'm actually, okay, let's, let's just go ahead and start flipping through. So here at the front, I have, this is one of the um, 6 by 8 papers from the 6 by 8 pa paper pad in the Very Merry collection. And then these are some wood veneer stars that I have from Studio Calico. I embossed them with like a gold um, embossing powder. And I like that touch. So here I did some paper, I had some papers and I did kind of my statement, um, my goal for this December and for me I made a little pocket on the inside of this traveler's notebook too and I had some um, gold glitter sequins from the Target dollar spot it was a strings of gold sequins um, this is the green ribbon is from the Joanna Gaines Target collection it's in her gift wrapping so I love it so um, for me, this Christmas season is all about trying not to let the busyness of what is all going on in my life take away from the magic of the season. Now, we're in the middle of hunting for our first house, and our lease ends at the end of January, so it's been kind of stressful time, you know, trying to get finances in order and find a house we like. It just kind of stressful to be dealing with, but exciting at the same time. So that's my goal. Don't lose sight of the magic of the season just because I'm getting really busy. So this came from the Target dollar spot as well. It was just some string and I loved putting that on the end because it peeks out of the edge. This is my first day of December. I've got the Studio Calico big date stamp. And then this was just me. My first story was I'm house hunting on my tablet and reading my new my winter version of the Magnolia Journal, my favorite. And then I've got this little pocket here um, with this little Santa card. And this is my tree. I cut, I pr printed out a photo of my tree and then I cut it out. And I kind of like the kind of I don't know mixed uh, collage like look that I have going on here. And I've just mixed in some ephemera stickers, chipboard stickers, all kinds of stuff. On the third day, I have my cup of peppermint mocha. Um, I do the, I have these little overlay, I, they're digital stamps from Allie Edwards. I will link the um, site below because these are from last year and I'll just link the site so that you can go check out the other ones there. But if you buy the digital stamps, all you have to do is go into, onto your computer and unzip the file once you buy them 
and download them to your Dropbox. And then you can use an app called Letter Glow to open up the digital stamps and lay them over your photographs before you print. So this is example, an example of one of those that I did. These are two digital stamps. One is the little star snowflakes, and then that Christmas feeling was a different text. Um, this is the, I bought, I have bought the digital collection for um, the Very Merry digital paper collection, and you can print it out on vellum. So I printed one of the florals out on vellum. And these letters came with the very, uh, these numbers came with the very, very merry collection as well. And I just took my scallop edged stamp to give that a little interest there on the end. And then I've got some, these bubble letters are from um, Sweet Stamp Shop. And you get the letters like where I stamp the red, you get the ones that stamp the inside. And then there's another set that stamps the border on the outside. And I kind of like, you could see how I offset it a little bit just to kind of, I don't know, it makes it more interesting in my opinion. This looks really cool, I think, but guess what? It's covering up where I screwed up because I cannot stamp without making a mess. And that's what I did, but messes can be covered up. Just wanted to point that out. And then I've just got my journaling here. And this is one of the six by eight papers in the Very Merry um, Simple Stories collection. And I've got some, when I, I use these uh, little four by six, are they four by six? Yeah, the four by six pocket pages from Simple Stories. Um, I just tip them in using some washi tape. And then when I put glitter and stuff, I mean glitter or sequins or anything, I just seal it with scotch tape. It's so easy. I mean, you can't even really see it, you know? You can't see the scotch tape and it keeps it all in there. Um, this is another one of those digital stamps from Allie Edwards and a fam my family here. And I got a chipboard sticker and on top of of all the things that I have from the the sorry, the papers that are in this pocket page. I also, from the Very Merry collection, I'm using the Snap Pack, and it has a bunch of these 2x2 two two squares and these 4x4 four four squares, and they fit really well into these pocket pages. Um, this is just some acetate that I got from Michael's. I think it's like the Recollections brand. And I just, I kind of have that tucked in there. And you can see where I haven't actually um, put any of this together yet, so some of these pages are kind of just sitting there. Uh, this is my journaling, and this is actually a printable from last year um, from the Simple Stories website. If I can find it, it was a free printable that they did with last year's Christmas collection, um, and I just printed it out and cut it down to fit in my notebook, and I glued it onto some paper, like notebook, from another notebook, a lined piece of paper. And then I just decorated with a bunch of stickers from the Very Merry Collection. This is from an Etsy store, and I cannot remember the name, but I'm going to look it up and try to link it below. This is maybe my one of my favorite pages in my whole December Daily so far. So I've got the journaling on the one side, right? But I just, I absolutely love this. So all these pictures, this is why my notebook's getting too thick because I'm a scrapbooker and I want dimension and it's making my notebook really thick. So I'm gonna have to like tone this down. But like, look at, can you see those popping off the page? I used some little foam dots, but to layer all these little things underneath. Oh, I absolutely love it. This is my niece. But do you see that dimension? I couldn't resist. I just loved the way the little squares look popped off of the page. I love it. And I just started tucking stickers and all kinds of paper scraps back there. I just, I absolutely love this page so much. The subject's probably making it even more lovable. And then I've got some photos that I printed out here. My niece Olivia, Queen Olivia, I'm sorry. That's, this is her announcing her claim to royalty. She's the queen of water, is what she said. Of the, of the sea, the ocean, and the waves. And then I just kind of told that story here on the back because it was just so cute. I have a video of it actually. I saw where another scrapbooker one time um, downloaded the video online and then 
got the QR, a QR code and put it in the scrapbook page so that you could scan it with your phone and it would bring up the video. And I thought that's brilliant. I might do that. I'm going to look up how to do that. So I just made this little pocket here, just glued on a piece of um, pattern paper onto the page so that I could tuck that in there. And then here's kind of the end of my page. I got to this is day six, so I'm not quite a weekend, but this is just from um, another Allie Edwards digital stamp onto one of my photos, and I've got it uh, another pocket page here with some glitter, I mean some sequins and stuff inside, and then I just put a little 3 by 4 card in here and then popped up a little wreath on there, and then I folded this little piece of paper to look like a ribbon giving it more dimension, probably not a good idea. Tipped it in with some washi tape. And then here, I still need to journal. So this is when uh, Will in Williamsburg when we went to see the Grand Illumination and they do all the fireworks. So um, these, I forgot to point out, okay, so these are Allie Edwards. It's from a stamp set from a year or two ago. It's one of my favorite, favorite stamp sets. And um, these trees are from Studio LTE. And on that same note too, I forgot to like show you these like little um, snowflakes, these little trees, those are all from the same, oh wait, no, I'm sorry. The snowflakes are from the Studio LT2E um, stamp set, which I'll link below. And this is from a Tim Holtz stencil. Freaking love it. I love it. I was trying to see if I used any more stamps because I, I just want to make sure I show everyone or talk about whoever did what okay so that's all I have so far and you know I've got it I got a whole lot more to go so I need to tone it down on the dimension or I just keep going with like I like it and I'll book bind it together if I need to take Paige Taylor Evans class on how to book bind I think she has an online class I might have to look it up so I can learn how to bind a traveler's notebook <laughs> All right, so that's everything I have. Um, these are kind of just the other side of all the papers that you've already seen. So I'll get more into that. I'll try to do this on a weekly basis if I can. Keep up with it like I'm hoping. And I will see you over on my Instagram at sunny.leah. I'll be posting more there. And if you want to see anything up close and personal or just more detailed, let me know and I will post over there. All right, bye.